Hello and welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. This video is going to show you about loft using SketchUp. So we're using SketchUp for schools, which actually does not have a loft, although you can see I have lofted a vase here. Um, loft will take these flat sections here, these flat cross sections which are floating above each other, and connect them up. So the only way to do this in SketchUp, if you have SketchUp for schools, is to just draw in these sides. And I have made these uh, two shapes into groups, so I have to redraw the lines on the bottom and top edges as well. And I'm just going to be drawing a lot of triangles. I'm going from endpoint to endpoint. You can see that one didn't fill in, so I have to hit escape on the keyboard to stop drawing and then draw in that top part. Um, and you can see as I'm drawing here that they're ending up backwards, so I'm going to reverse faces. The dark gray is the inside surface, and the, the, light, the lighter white color is the outside surface. So I'm using these groups here and I'm just going to keep drawing these things in. If you have a version of SketchUp that's a full version of SketchUp and not the in-browser SketchUp for schools, you can download an extension that somebody wrote. Uh, the one I used before is called Curvaloft and what it does is it basically draws all these lines for you automatically uh, using an algorithm. Um, and you can see that um, connecting this hexagon to this square is a little bit arduous. Sometimes I forget which sides I need to draw the lines on. So, I'll, you know, you get into a bit of a rhythm and you start to get a ha the hang of it um, and you get, start to figure out which sides are, are missing uh, and eventually you can get the whole thing lofted. But because the top and bottom are groups, they are um, going to be uh, still separate. So if I triple click here, I'm going to only select the new faces I've made. So if I move it over by clicking and then sliding over, you can see there's the original cross sections and there is my new loft. So that's how you can loft in SketchUp for schools. And it, you can see it can be a slow process, but it's especially slow for circles. So circles are actually not circles in SketchUp. Um, they are actually, I'm going to make these into groups here. Uh, you, if you zoom in, uh, oops, I zoomed in a little too far there. Um, you can see that the circles ha are made out of straight segments. And you can actually change how many segments when you draw your circles by typing uh, the number you'd like followed by an S. Um, and the more segments you have, the harder it is for SketchUp to do the math with anything, but the easier it is to, for it to look like a circle. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking for, and I think I actually caught the midpoint there, but I'm looking for endpoints and I'm just drawing triangles. So I'm sliding along here and I'm looking for an endpoint. That's at midpoint again there, oops. But I'm just drawing in triangles and I'm just making cho choices about where to draw these. Um, if you skip over a bit, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look right. So you wanna just keep drawing around. So here's, here's where we're gonna speed things up because I've reversed my faces and I'm gonna start to get into a rhythm here of drawing a triangle. Um, you can see that if you if you skipped a face, skipped a side, it won't fill in a face. You need to have all three sides of your triangle in order to fill in a face. All right, so we're going to do fast motion here. So as we speed up here, you can see I'm going to start to get in a bit of a rhythm where I, you know, at first I'm making choices about where, where whether to go top to bottom or bottom to top, and then I just start alternating. Um, you also see that I'm zooming in and I'm orbiting a lot, and the reason I'm doing that is sometimes I'm getting the wrong reference. So sometimes it'll try and go along the green axis or the red axis when I, really what I want it to do is I want it to snap to the endpoints. So by changing my perspective, it can make it easier. By zooming in, I can get a little bit more control. Um, and you can see that this takes a really, really long time. Um, and you can see as I slow it down here just how slow this part is uh, when you're trying to when you're trying to draw each one of these lines individually. And this is only two layers. If you were going to try and put a, together something with multiple layers, it would be very long and arduous. So loft is not the strong suit for SketchUp, but it is possible. It's just a little bit more manual. Uh, let's move it over to the side here and you can see there's my my new lofted circular things. So that's how loft works using SketchUp for schools.